Welcome to day two of the Transform Fear into Confidence Challenge. I am your hostess with the mostest, Chrissy Key Rollins, and I'm coming to you from my backyard so I could either squint at the camera or wear my shades, so pardon the shades for today. Um, but today we're talking about follow through. Now yesterday we talked about self-love. Self-love is the determining factor on if you will follow through. That's the deciding factor. So now that we've cultivated and began some some uh, practical action steps to cultivating a stronger relationship with ourselves, becoming our best business partner, giving ourselves loving, undivided attention on a regular basis. That is going to cultivate the energy that's needed, the subconscious drive that is needed in order to actually start following through on what it is that you really desire to be following through on. So today, day two, we're going to talk about follow through and why is follow through part of this challenge? Follow through is a key way to build your self-trust and tomorrow we're going to be talking about self-trust. So today we're going to be taking action to start to build and cultivate that self-trust and we're going to do it with follow through. And follow through is a very powerful thing because what it does is that it creates the energetic and physical space needed to receive more. If you are sitting around with unused resources, uncompleted tasks and transactions, and you're filling the space around you with panicked, frantic, and overwhelmed energy, you have very little space left to receive what you desire. And think about it. If you saw someone that was just running around like a chicken with their head cut off, always in panic mode, always in stress out mode, always worrying, never seeming caught up, would you walk over and be like, hey, will you take care of this very important thing for me? Most likely not. Most likely you'd be like, whoa, they obviously got enough going on over there. So I'm going to give this extra that I have in another direction. That is the same way that life works. If you are running around panicked, if you are running around overwhelmed, if you're running around stressed out, freaking out because you don't have enough, how can more come into your life? You've got to take a deep breath. You have to clear that energetic space around you. You have to clear your body and your mind. I've been pregnant and nursing <laughs> for four years. I just stopped. My daughter just turned three back in May and we stopped the nursing. I did extended um, breastfeeding with her and we just stopped the nursing uh, a couple weeks before her third birthday. So for four years, my body was completely hers. I couldn't do my regular cleansing. Everything was kind of like building up. And once I started to cleanse again, which I am a huge fan of nutritional cleansing. If you've never tried it, you want to find out more about it, hit me up. We can definitely have a conversation about it. But what that did is like, it's like lifting the fog off of my mind and out of my body where I could kind of come alive again. My mental clarity was a lot more sharp. I had a lot less emotional struggles throughout the day. It's just such a game changer. You have to clear that garbage out of your body, out of your mind, and out of the energetic space that's around you so that you can make room for what you really desire. I mean, that's the same way that cleansing works. Flushes out the cells so that you have room to absorb nutrients. The same thing happens whenever you shift the energy that you bring to a situation, whenever you complete those unfinished tasks. So you've got to clear that space around you to signal to life that you're ready to receive more. It says, hey life, I'm ready, I'm equipped, and I can handle it, so bring it on. Think about what you're sending out with the current energy that you bring to your day. If you're stressed and worried about finances, panicking, worrying that there's going to not be enough, first of all, relax and realize you've always had enough to get by or else you wouldn't be watching this video. Make sense? It might not have come in the amount that you wanted, in the timing that you wanted, and how you would like to have received it, but you've always been provided for, you've always been taken care of. So take a deep breath, relax, more is coming, it always will. And the more calm that you can be, the more relaxed you can be, the more assured you can be, the quicker and easier it's gonna come into your life. I always say whoever is the, the most relaxed wins. Well, I usually say she who is most relaxed wins, but I know there's some boys following along in this challenge too. So whoever is the most relaxed wins. That relaxation signals to the world around you that you are ready to receive more, that you can handle more. And I'm not talking about more chaos, more drama, because you're not putting that out. I'm talking about more of what you really desire. 
And if you're filling that space with frantic, chaotic, overwhelmed, stressed out energy, you don't have room for all that good stuff to come in, right? And if you have unfinished transactions, if you have unfinished tasks, that is saying, wait, whoa, 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 I'm not quite done with what I've got going on here. Let me wrap this up first, then I can have room to receive more. We don't think about these things because, you know, we just kind of go in go mode all the time. But all of this is creating um, static and uh, just taking up space, energetic space and physical space. That cluttered dust drawer is taking up physical space. Those items that you purge out of your closet but haven't taken to go donate yet, they're taking up physical space. Anything that's in your environment that you don't use on a regular basis and that doesn't bring you joy in your life, it is taking up space. So why compromise? Why not clear out that space and signal to life the quantity and quality of what you're really ready to receive? And what's really interesting is that these follow through tasks that seem like such a bear right now, they're actually things that you want to be doing. And there are things that you're going to be doing when you're on the quote unquote other side of this. When you're on the other side of being in this chaotic space where you're not receiving and you're actually in your flow, you're attracting clients, you're attracting income, the life is working for you. On the other side, guess what you're going to be doing? Following through on tasks. So why not build the habit now? You're going to need it on the other side. And again, these are the things that you're going to be doing on the other side. And these are the things that you want to be doing. You want to be able to support a thriving clientele. You want to be able to support a thriving business. Now, maybe some of these tasks need to be delegated out. That's just another way to flex your prosperity. We're going to get into some prosperity consciousness later on in this challenge. But if you need to delegate out, that's another way that you can clear some space. You've got kids, you've got family members, recruit them, help them, uh, recruit their help in the cleanup process. You don't really like doing data entry, find somebody who will do it for you. You know, you can get one of, you, you can find somebody to do this stuff for you. There's different ways that you can do that. So I'm not going to get into all the different ways to delegate, but just think about that. What do you have on your plate that you can and elevate? How can you ask for help in completing these tasks and just clear that space, even if it's five minutes here or there throughout the day, 10 minutes daily, create the space to develop these habits of follow through because it's really going to pay you back in the long run. It's going to help you move to where it is that you really want to be. So file those papers, send those emails, catch up on that data entry, take those close to donate, change that light bulb that needs to be changed. Take a nice long bath. What better way to sing to life that you are ready to receive more by making yourself a priority and take that bath. Go get that massage. Follow through on those self-care things that you know make a difference to you and make a difference to your energy and the mindset that you bring to each day. Again, cleanse your body, cleanse your mind, really make the space for what you want to come in and signal to life, I got this. I got this. Do you know how many times I said I got this and I still do that on a regular basis whenever I start to, you know, get my mind pointed in the other direction? I just remind myself, I got this. There's a plane flying over, so I apologize for the noise if you can if you can hear that happening. So this is the other key thing about follow through. This is like the the part of it, you know, because you probably heard this before, you know, follow through, follow through, follow through. But this is the part that you might not realize. It takes action on your part. Action is what activates your desires to coming into full fruition. When you're sitting back, when you're just thinking about things in your head and you're not taking action, you're not following through on the steps that you desire to take or the commitments that you've already made. When you're not doing those things, again, you're signaling to life, whoa, 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 no need to send more. I have more than enough already. We think that we have to do the right thing. We think that we have to follow the right steps. We think we have to follow the people who came before us. And there is great value in doing that. But I'm here to pose a new notion. It is not the actions that you take that brings the results that you see on the other side. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what actions you take. What matters is the energy that you bring to those actions. You bring to each action a success mindset. You bring to each paper that you file a knowingness that each paper that you file is creating that much more space for what you want to come in. 
you bring the energy of it doesn't matter what actions I take, but the energy that I bring to the table, that's what creates, that's what activates, that's what sets into motion what I really desire, you will see a completely different experience. You will experience something completely different and you'll see completely different results on the other side. It doesn't matter what actions you take, just move forward. As you move forward, you activate all the resources, all the people, all the things that need to come into your life to help you on your journey. You also activate what's inside of you. You have internal wisdom inside of you. That inner self that we talked about and we tapped into and we started to become besties with yesterday, that inside inner self knows everything. She knows or he knows the big picture of your life, knows every twist and turn, knows every unfolding, knows every answer, knows everything to say. I'm getting chills all over my body just saying these words out loud because it's that deep of a truth. Your inner self holds all the answers. The only way you're going to activate and bring those answers and knowingness and inner guidance to surface is when you take action when you move forward and I say you know you can't just move forward you know because obviously every day we're moving forward in some sense of it but the type of action that you need to take moving forward is one that is in service in faith and detached from immediate results often we take actions because somebody said you do this action you're gonna get this result we take the action then we look around like where's my stuff where's my people where's my clients where's my income and that's not how it works. If you're taking action with the energy, I have to do this in order to get, you're still missing the mark. But when you can show up and you can take that, that action in service, in faith, and detach from immediate results, knowing that as long as you keep moving forward, as long as you keep focusing on providing services to others, as long as you keep faith that each step forward is bringing forth and activating around you and within you everything that you need in order to complete your mission, your calling in this life, you will have massive results. I have taken massive action in a direction that I just didn't know. I just knew that I had to get moving. So I reached out to like 26 people on Facebook. I started all these conversations with these women. Within 24 hours, I did not get a single result from e any of those conversations that I started. But while I was amidst those conversations, I got a message from another direction of a gal who I also met on Facebook. We never even met in person or, uh, you know, through the internet or whatever. And she said, hey, I have a friend who might be interested in talking to you. I said, great, let's set up a conversation. 48 hours later, that friend had signed up for and prepaid for a six-month coaching program, which is a pretty significant income in my world. And that was just evidence. It doesn't matter what action you take. The action that I was taking wasn't even the action that brought the results, but it activated. It activated and it released into my life what it was that I was really intending as I was moving forward in that action. So as you move forward, remember, it's the action that activates. It's the action that activates the resources from around you and the resources from within you that will equip you for your journey. So stop waiting to be prepared. Quit the paralysis analysis and quit the procrastinating, sitting back, waiting to get everything perfect before you take action. The only way you will ever know how to perfect the actions that you take is by taking the first step. It's like shooting at a target. You don't know how to adjust your aim until you shoot. You have to ready, aim, fire. Not ready, 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 aim, ready, aim, reload, readjust, ready, aim, make a spreadsheet, you know, post on Facebook. Okay, ready again? No, that's not what does it. You have to fire. You have to shoot at that target. And you're going to miss the target. I miss the target a lot, but you know what it teaches me every time? How to adjust my aim. And a lot of times, just by taking that action and pulling the trigger, everything else falls into place. It's a powerful thing, and you deserve to experience it. So today, your action steps is to follow through. Make a commitment. What can you follow through on? And what can you open yourself up to receiving on the other side? You know, take action on what you can follow through on, get clear about what you'd like to receive on the other side, and understand that with every follow through, you immediately begin to receive. You receive the satisfaction of knowing that you're one step closer towards what you desire. You receive the knowingness that you're developing powerful habits that will sustain the future. You're receiving the satisfaction of just having that space and that energy cleared. 
I have followed through on some things and then instantly had my husband walk into the room and start a conversation that I've been wanting to have for forever. These things happen. You have to create the space. It's all the same thing. So bring that that energy of knowingness, bring that faith filled um, assuredness to the table and be completely detached from the immediate results. Treat it like a giant experiment and just start to pay attention. What are you receiving on the other side? What kind of self-satisfaction are you receiving? What kind of inner knowingness are you receiving? What kind of um, self-esteem boost are you receiving? What, what comes in to fill that space? Start to pay attention to those things. Take um, action today. Follow through on some things. Note what are you receiving on the other side of it, right? You know, you're going to receive some things immediately. You're going to receive some things throughout the day. You're going to receive some things over the next few days. So just start, follow through, make it a game. Make it a total game. Your inner child, your inner self loves games. They also really love cuss words a lot of times. So that might be why you find yourself in that habit sometimes. But anyway, um, so yes, follow through. Pay attention to what you receive and then go to our Facebook community right here at the Conscious Panure Club and post. Make a post. If you share through video, I love video. It just helps us get to know you that much better. Um, you get extra bonus points for that. But post. What did you clear out? What are you committed to clearing out? What are you ready to receive? What are you already receiving as you start to follow through on these tasks? Give yourself this gift. Activate your desires in your life right now come back and share make sure you use the hashtag i got this because you do got this so hashtag i got this so that i can find it easily and can make sure that you get credit for that share so you can participate in our really awesome prizes and keep inviting people to this community keep inviting people to this challenge keep showing up you are doing amazing i love you i believe in you you are made for this so trust your journey, trust yourself, and together we're going to do this. All right, I love you. I will see you back here tomorrow. Have an amazing day. I can't wait to hear what you receive on the other side of your follow-through.